All right, everyone. Um, you, this is one thing that's becoming pretty popular, and I do it to pass the time sort of throughout the day um, while I'm getting my work done and everything. Um, it's online auctions. Um, this is I like using equipment facts myself. Um, most people like using proxy bid. <clears throat> um, there is a there is a fee for using online auctions, um, but. Sometimes what the fee for it is a little bit better on um, this platform here is pretty nice because you got everything from the audio um, Pictures of it. You can see where the bidders are coming from This auction here is a retirement farm machinery auction um, We got a six row cultivator a Nancy Ferguson disc a DMI ripper soil finisher down here is another Another disc, gravity bin wagon, auger, um, grain buggy, sprayer, tra trailer, nurse tank, um, hopper bottom, grain truck, case IH combine, the headers for it, head trailer, old 3020, case IH 8950, magnum 215, and a magnum 245. <clears throat> This auction is located in Denison, Iowa, and it's pretty. These online auctions are, while well, they got popular back in 2020 because of all the COVID going around and all that happy horse hocus pocus, but we won't get into it. But like now they're selling the forklift, and you can, I'll turn the audio on, and we can, we'll watch them sell a couple pieces. Now one thing with <clears throat> one thing with the online auctions, um, and most auctioneers are most auctioneers are pretty good about it. Some auctioneers, what they like to do is like if I wanted to bid on a piece of equipment, let's say I wanted to bid on this DMI ripper here, which I am looking for one, but only at the right price, and I want a four shank. Um, I can go in, set my maximum bid on on the piece of equipment. And then the computer will bid for me until it hits that bid, and either I win it or somebody bids higher higher than that, and I don't win it. So, what the auctioneer, one of the dirty tricks the auctioneers like to use is they'll go in there, they can see what your max bid is, and they'll start they'll start it right at your max bid, and then go from there. That way they get that way they get the most money they possibly can for it. Um, wow. And then which. From their from their perspective, I can see why they do it. They they make the most money and they get the most money for the for the customer. But from the buyer's perspective, it's a it's a dirty trick because if if you put in fifteen thousand dollars as your max bid on a piece of equipment, they'll start at fifteen thousand dollars. So you have to so you end up having to pay fifteen for it. Um, I only know this because of the few auctions around here that the few local auctions that I've gone to. Um, 
like at Cultivator there, sold for $600 for a six row, six row Case IH 183 Cultivator. Um, but it's it's pretty interesting um, watching it and seeing all the all the equipment that be that's bought and sold. One thing that I do have to, I personally have to watch for is I. I lack in the trucking and hauling department, um, so if I if I watch one of these auctions out of state and something's a real bargain, I have to control myself, so I don't so I don't go in and start bidding on it. Um, that's why you can see that I leave the bidding locked, so I don't get excited on a cheap piece of equipment and buy it. And next thing you know, I have to travel 700 miles to pick it up. So, because that is one thing, if you do buy it, you got to go pick it up, or send somebody to pick it up, or e either way, you got to pay for you got it's going to cost you to go get it. So. But that's one thing with these online equipment auctions. But like I said, I prefer using equipment facts. Some people f prefer using proxy vid. Um, <clears throat> the auctions that I'm truly interested in, I still actually go to them um, just to save the 10 or 12% buyer's premium that is charged whenever you bid online. So it, it varies per auction, but pretty much like this auction was 4% if you buy it online. Most auctions are around here at least it's a 10 percent buyer's premium then a uh two percent internet service fee so it comes out to being about 12 percent buyer's premium so but here's that dmi ripper we'll see what she goes for and then i'll cut this video short here seem to have lost the audio on it which that's another common occurrence that if if they have audio um, it fades in and out because they run the they run the audio and everything off their cell service so sometimes it's there and sometimes it's not and sometimes they do live video feeds so you can actually sort of see what you're bidding on um, which in reality that's a joke if you're seriously interested if you're seriously interested in something you ought to go go to the sale prior and look at look the stuff over but it gives you an idea and there, that ripper went for six thousand dollars. Um, but the live audio is nice, so you can sort of keep track of what the auctioneer's, what the auctioneer's going for. So we'll finish out with this D, with this Case IH Tiger Mate two hundred thirty footer Harrow with the rolling basket, and um, there we go. That is one thing with these online auctions. Stuff goes everywhere in the country. Um, any, pretty much any state's not out of the question. I was at a sale where Skids, uh, Bobcat Skid Steer went to Hawaii. Um, I was also at another sale where uh, I forget what the piece of equipment was, but I know for a fact it went out. It went out of the country and went to South Africa or over there. So, but anyways, with that, guys, this is just a little bit about online equipment auctions. Um, as always, everyone's happy. Stay safe out there. See you guys.